Welcome to another vlog or if you're new here, hi, I'm Abby, an American living in the UK. Welcome to my channel. So since my last video, I have some things to update you guys with. Uh, first being, I got COVID, unfortunately. Um, I figure after two plus years of not getting it, I was bound to get it at some point and I did get it. Fortunately, uh, my symptoms were very, very mild. It felt like a minor cold. So I had a runny nose, stuffy nose, a cough, which is still kind of lingering and, and tiredness and soreness. So nothing that was too terrible. I only had one day that I would say was really, really bad and I just slept the entire day. And then the next day I felt, you know, pretty okay. I mean, not okay, okay, but you know, I didn't feel like death. Jeff, my husband, he also unfortunately got COVID, um, but his situation has been a lot worse because on top of COVID, he also got strep throat. So we have been confined to our house for a week. One thing I will say though about getting COVID is it gave me time to read. I read like three and a half Bridgerton books. <laughs> Um, and I also finished reading or listening to the audiobook of that first Percy Jackson book. So I put in a hold with my library so I can get the second book, but it's like a 10 week wait. And I think that's just because of the Disney Plus announcement. Um, but yeah, I did read like three and a half Bridgerton books. I say a half because um, I DNF'd one of the books. I DNF'd Eloise's book. I'll go more in depth about how I feel about the Bridgerton books in um, a monthly wrap up. I'm thinking of doing along with talking about books that I've read in the month, I wanna talk about my experience here in the UK because I am almost at a month since being here. Anyway, um, welcome to the vlog. Hopefully from now on, this video is gonna be a lot more fun. Hello, good afternoon. It's a rainy day. I just had some yummy lunch. I'm now gonna go to Marks and Spencer's, which is a grocery chain store that I didn't know was a grocery chain store until someone left a comment uh, saying that it's similar to Weight Rose. It's more posh. So I definitely wanna go and check it out. I'm sorry that my videos are turning into grocery <laughs> reviews, but I've been having a lot of fun going to these grocery stores. <laughs> I ended up buying the black pair of pants and I bought some stuff for burritos. <laughs> Just really craving Mexican food. Look at this good boy, or oh, good girl. Hi. a book. I bought Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I know that I had told myself that I wasn't going to go into Waterstones until I finished the two books that I already have. I can only go back in there if I finish reading these books. If 
I finish reading these books. But in my defense, first of all, I didn't get this at Waterstones. <laughs> I saw this at Sainsbury for £4.50, so it was 50% off. I had to get it. Also, I did read one of the books that I bought, so not really breaking the rules. Besides, I made those rules anyway. I'm 50 pages in it, and so far I'm really, really liking it. I like the witty banter. I just like Emily's writing. It's really easy to consume. I was reading Hamnet. I'm only like two or three chapters in, and honestly, I can't get into it. It's just, it's a lot of florally writing, which is hard for me to get into. You know, I don't need, you know, like a John Steinbeck where it's like 50 pages to describe a flower. You know, some people can read a book and the image in their mind is very, very crystal clear of what everything looks like, you know? But for me, when I read, it's the imagery is like a three-year-old drew it with their opposite hand. Like it's very blurry, very vague. I think there's an actual medical thing. I'm the person that if I say there's going to be a movie adaptation of a book, sometimes I will actually watch the movie first or watch the miniseries or watch the TV show, whatever it is. I will watch that first and then I will read the book because then I have something in my mind to grasp what's happening. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just learn and process information differently, I guess, when it comes to reading. And so my mind is just, she's an empty void. Yeah, I just have some frustrations when it comes to reading. And I'm at one of those sort of, I'm, I'm having one of those moments right now, which is probably why I read all those Bridgerton books, because they're just so easy to consume. Also, I will admit that I think I'm slightly disappointed that the book doesn't read like Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. It's about Achilles and his supposed lover, you know, takes place during the Iliad, Odyssey, that whole thing. Um, but, you know, she uses modern language to sort of retell this whole entire thing. And so that's kind of what I thought Hamnet was going to be, was sort of taking, you know, Shakespeare and all that kind of stuff, but reworking it in a way that's easy to digest for a modern audience. Like, that's what I thought this book was going to be. But no. But anyway... Yeah, I bought this book and I'm 50 pages in and I'm eating it up and I'm loving it. Did you just wake up from a nap? It is now time to make the Marks and Spencer burrito. Now before anyone suggests that I go and try the one Mexican joint that is in Salisbury, they put cabbage in their burritos. Not a single Mexican place that I have ever been to in California or a single Mexican person that I know puts cabbage in their burritos. Don't do that. That's not a thing. Dry. No, it's good. The rice needs some work though. Hello, new day. Um, I wanted to do this yesterday, but the weather was really gloomy. So today I have come out to Riverborn Farm, Community Farm. Um, I've been wanting to go here for a while because there's all these cute little farm animals here. I almost thought I wasn't going to make it today because this morning we had to run some errands, like return some stuff from Amazon. Um, and for some reason, both Google Maps and Apple Maps were um, having a moment. <laughs> They were both leading us around in circles. I was literally looking for a parcel shop and it led me to somewhere in Brussels. So I don't know what's up with either of those. Um, maybe Salisbury is like the Bermuda Triangle. I don't know. And it just, both of those just are incapable of mapping anywhere, but you need to go. Um, so Jeff, he's still in the process of trying to find a place to return our Amazon items that we bought. But I wanted to come out here because this place is only open for, I think three hours. It's like 10 a.m. to 11, no, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, and so, yeah, I wanted to check this place out yesterday, but it was raining and just nasty. And today it's a much prettier day. So anywho, let's go see some animals. Hi. Mavis and Timbo. I love it. Hello. 
I've been here for two seconds and I'm obsessed. Buckle, Bobby, Dolly, Myrtle, and Cookie. Let's meet them. Hi, Bobby. Hi. How was your day? I hope it's well. Someone here's food. <laughs> Bubble and squeak. That's so adorable. Chris and Pongo. I love that one of them is just named Chris. Hello, Chris. I'm very sad that the alpacas aren't here. There's a cat named Humphrey. I have to find him. Excuse you. found the cat. I knew I would. Because I'm insane. A look and a vibe. I've never even heard of a dagus. My camera keeps wanting to focus on the bars instead of the little animals, but... There they are. Oh, oh my god, he's licking his wee-wee. I love this rabbit's beard. So there's different kinds of dagus. They have a little cafe. That's super cute. Let's see if we can find them. Side note, but I feel like I need to mention this. <laughs> When I was walking here, it's like a mile from where I live, I swear there had to been like 20 barbershop or hair salons that I passed on my way here. Why are there so many? <laughs> Do that many people really need to get their hair cut? <laughs> Is there something in the water here that makes people's hair grow faster and needs more trimming? <laughs> so many! <laughs> There's more hair places than coffee shops. I'm so confused. Found them. So here is the, the Scottish cow. I don't know what is up with the zoom on my camera. It's a mess, but here he is. Or she, I think it's she. And then our other friends are just in the rest of the field. So here they are. Walking around here reminds me a lot of my small town where I grew up. Um, I grew up in a very agriculture heavy town, so lots of cows, lots of dairy, um, lots of cheeses and stuff, and so it's it's very surreal being here, because it, yeah, it reminds me of home, and it's made me appreciate the growing up that I had, and how simple it was. You know, when I, when I turned 18, I immediately left. I was like, I gotta go to the city, like I can't do all this country stuff, and honestly, I kind of miss it sometimes. <laughs> so, it's been nice. To be around it again. Oh my god, what is this bug? Oh my god, what is this bug? Anyway, um, it's been great, other than that one bug. <laughs> oh, I see some more cows over there in the distance. Let's go. My voice <laughs> and uh, this lingering cough that I have are like the two things that will not go away. I sound like a pubescent boy. My nose is also runny, but I think that's just because I have allergies. I'm allergic to seasons. I have no idea how long this trail is where it ends, but I'm just gonna keep walking. <laughs> Look at these flowers, seriously, what is this? I also wanted to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and has left a very thoughtful comment. Um, I was not expecting my video, my first week here, um, to get as many views as it has and so many nice things said on it. So thank you all. I think my subscriber count went up by like 75. Like before I got here, I had like 30, which is why my subscribers is hidden because <laughs> it's so low, you know, and so I just, I just hit it. <laughs> but yeah, now we're over a hundred. It's like almost 140, 150 subscribers now. So thank you all. My camera died. Lol. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see. Also, let me know what things that I need to do if you're a local here. Like, where do I need to go? What events are coming up that I need to attend? I'm walking around and I honestly don't know where I'm going, but it's fine. It's part of the journey, part of the adventure. But anyway, as I was saying, yes, thank you all so much. 
and um, I'm gonna stop talking now and just enjoy some scenery, okay? Okay, bye. Sausage vest. <laughs> 